Hello, beautiful people. I'm gonna go to the Amazon bookstore today, I think. I think I'm going to go take a trip to the Amazon bookstore because it's something that I've been wanting to do for a bit. When I found out that they have them where I live, I was like, I should go check them out. There's actually two one in columbus circle and one on 34th street so i'm gonna go and do that today A completely different day I ended up meeting up with my friend when I went to the store and we went to a few other bookstores as you probably saw we went and got something to eat so day turned into night really quick so now it is two days later it is Friday it's a pretty rainy disgusting day out um, and I'm gonna show you what I ended up purchasing before I go into what I bought I think I'll just talk a little bit about the experience overall because um, it was my first time actually going into the store the store itself was really lovely it was very clean it was well lit it smelled nice in there um, it was a nice experience aesthetically I had a good time um, everything was very clear uh, and visible you didn't really have to rummage through anything everything was nicely displayed um, prices were very clear also uh, if you had a prime account there was a nice discount so that was really great we'll say selection wise it was sparse um, it wasn't like when you go into a larger bookstore like um where i live we have barnes and noble we have a large collection there wasn't really that extensive of a collection at the store it seemed to have a lot of what was popular right now or what is popular right now and um what's really kind of big what people are excited about what people are talking about which is great because if you're looking for sort of these hot new reads or these sort of trending reads um, this is a great place to get it all in one spot at a great price so it serves its purpose in that if you're looking for something that's new it's out um, it's really kind of trendy right now that's a great place to go they also had a pretty decent selection of self-help um, or those sort of lifestyle books which i personally am not into so that was kind of a miss for me they had a good amount of um, cookbooks, uh, they had a nice children's section, so that was very nice. So on to what I actually ended up buying were some trending titles. Um, the first thing I will show you is I purchased Sally Rooney's Beautiful World, Where Are You? This is a pretty popular read right now. Um, I love Sally Rooney. I read Normal People. I thought it was really great. It follows four friends, um, sort of their mishaps with love and loneliness and sex. And I thought that was, it sounded interesting. I liked her writing uh, in Ordinary People. So I thought I would give this one a try as well. It was hardcover. I'm not exactly sure how much I paid for this one. I'll have to go back and look at my receipt and put it somewhere on the screen. But it looks like the cover price is $28 for this hardcover. Um, another book that I purchased, which is also pretty popular and trendy right now, is Crying in H Mart, which is actually a memoir um, about a young woman growing up. I believe she's of Vietnamese descent. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Korean descent. It's a young woman of Korean descent and she kind of 
goes through her mother's illness um, and through that she kind of reconnects with her culture and heritage. At least that's what I'm sort of getting from the synopsis on the inside front cover. I really love this cover. I like the bright red and the imagery of like these noodles here. I remember going to H Mart um, when I was a kid. I grew up in Queens and we had an H Mart, I believe in Flushing, but I'm not entirely sure. It might have been Fresh Meadows. Um, and my mom and I used to go there all the time. So uh, I heard really good things about this one and I'm excited to read that. The last book I bought from the Amazon bookstore was Commonwealth by Ann Patchett. I had finished about a month ago The Dutch House by Ann Patchett and I absolutely loved it. I thought her writing was beautiful. Her ability for storytelling was so great. I really, really enjoyed that book so much. Um, so I thought I'd give this one a try because I'm hoping I can expect sort of the same thing. I haven't heard much about this book, so I'm not entirely sure what my expectations are, except, you know, just having previous experience with the author. I really like about um, Anne Paget is her ability to sort of uh, tell generational stories and build this rich, sort of almost fairy tale like lineage. I really enjoy her storytelling, so I'm hoping this is good. It was kind of just a whim purchase, um, but I'll let you know. After I went to the Amazon bookstore, I met up with my friend and we ended up walking over to the Union Square area and we went to both the large Barnes and Noble over there and then Strand. I didn't end up actually purchasing anything at Strand though. I did see some really great options, but I did pick up two books at Barnes and Noble and they are both Jane Austen novels. These editions are really nice with the covers. They're sort of very floral. And so that really caught my eye. Usually when I buy classics, I will use like the Penguin edition because they're quite inexpensive um, and they get the job done. They usually have a nice sort of illustration or portrait on the cover. These were looked so cool and so beautiful and flowery and reminded me of spring. And I really love reading uh, like a Jane Austen or something a little bit more classic in, in the springtime. I don't know, for some reason. It, it kind of really gets me going. Something that's a little bit more romantic. Um, seems like spring to me. So I bought two of these. Uh, the first one is Emma. I have not read this yet, despite being a Jane Austen fan. And my plan is to read this book when it gets a little bit nicer out, maybe about April, May, um, to read this book and then watch the movie because I see that the movie's on Netflix and it looks very interesting. I'm really into costumes and all of that. So uh, my plan is to read this book and then watch the movie and kind of compare and see what I think. So I'll let you know how that goes. And then I also picked up Mansfield Park, which I also have not read, but I've heard really good things about it. I read um, sort of like a mock memoir last summer about someone who does like a Jane Austen summer camp uh, for Jane Austen fans. And everybody kept raving, or they kept talking about everybody raving about Mansfield Park. So I decided to get that one as well. And you can't beat the price on these. They weren't the most inexpensive versions that they had in Barnes and Noble, but these were $8.95 and also $8.95. So $9, how can you beat it? That's all I have for you. That's everything that I purchased. Three books from Amazon and two books at Barnes and Noble. Uh, thank you so much. For watching. Uh, thanks for bearing with me. I know this is new for me, something I'm just kind of getting into, so I'm not quite great at it yet, but I appreciate you watching nonetheless, and I'll see you next time.